Well, good evening, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It is the 21st of June, 2021. We're going to start a new countdown here, 41 days until we go live from our new world headquarters here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. So it's been a long process of uh, rebuilding and uh, a new suite, but uh, we'll share that with you here very soon. Um, lots to talk about here. Just got back from vacation. We'll share some uh, vacation photos here and some cool uh, Air Force Thunderbird video here at the end here. But uh, summer is officially here. Arrived uh, yesterday on Father's Day, uh, late evening at 1132 Eastern Time. So welcome to the official start of summer. Looking at last week's recap on a National Retail Federation calendar or how our big retail customers would prefer to look at the weather. Um, here in the U.S., 3.9 degrees warmer than last year. I think we actually should say hotter than last year. Hottest in 26 years. Number two hottest in 36 years. So extremely warm conditions across the U.S. as a whole, especially out in the Rocky Mountains. 4% wetter than last year, but that's still the sixth driest in 36 years. So well below average on that front. Uh, up in Canada, a little bit warmer, warmest in three years. Uh, very dry as well, driest in 22 years. Europe, uh, a little bit warmer, warmest in eight years, uh, driest in four. Russia, also warmer, uh, a little bit drier than last year. China, a tad warmer, warmest in eight years, um, dry, driest in eight years. Uh, down under wintertime, Australia, 1.4 degrees cooler, uh, still above average, but uh, cooler than a year ago. And then uh, over there in Brazil, again, coolest in five years, uh, and again, drier versus last year. On a world scale, it was pretty hot, hottest in 36 years, uh, driest in four years. Uh, maps inset left are temp and precip trends versus average. Looking at this week here, hard to believe we're already getting into the fourth week, late July or June time frame here, but um, cooled off here. We had a cold front that's come through and it's uh, sweeping through our areas tonight with some pretty severe thunderstorms outside our studios here. One degree cooler than last year, 14th warmest in 36 years. So still above average on a national scale, particularly hot, obviously out west. Uh, rainfall, 30% wetter than uh, LY. We'll see about that. Wettest in 15 years, third wettest in 36 years. So above average, we'll see about that next conveyor belt of moisture from Arkansas into the northeast. Um, TBD on that rain in the much needed area of the uh, central U.S., uh, west corn belt. Um, um, models have been hinting at a lot of rain in the corn belt uh, in the upper north central plains, and um, it never happens. Um, so just, um, again, some of those areas up there are trending um at least here in June, are trending north central U.S. is the second hottest in 30, um, actually going back to 1988, and third driest again since 1988. So 1988 was a very tough crop year for farmers, and um, this year may be a uh, bellwether of things to come here. Uh, looking at uh, next week here, again, hard to believe, but we're already getting into the 4th of July weekend here. So 1.4 degrees warmer. See the warming trend here. So this cool down here in the east will... Uh, gradually warm up so enjoy the cooler weather if you like that this time of year um, 1.4 warmer than last year warmest in nine years going into the july 4th uh, holiday period here so second hottest in 36 years so a big warm-up coming much above average temperatures again we'll see about this wetness um model's been kind of overdoing this to some extent 20 percent wetter than last year what is in four years 10th wettest in 36 years um Again, we'll uh, see about that. One thing that is uh, off to a very fast start again, like last year, is uh, the tropics. Um, already had, uh, we missed it on our vacation, but we had Bill and Claudette uh, come near where we were. We'll share the, the spot here in a minute, but um, already up to three named systems. So that's a fast start here for um, third week of June. And we got another little system out there, um, deep uh, south part of the, that's going to go through the uh, Caribbean here. So we'll see. Florida. Gulf Coast, need to watch out about, uh, again, about a week out when it's that far away. But, um, again, something to watch if you live in the southeast. Again, obviously you know that we're predicting a very active hurricane season, and Florida's a big concern for us this year. Um, and again, a lot of folks have a much above average season forecast this year. So it's just getting started here, and, uh, again, something to watch if you live in the uh, tropical threat areas. Look at the world outlook now. This is just a two-week aggregate. Uh, again, so very hot in the western half of the country, um, very hot up there in Russia. Uh, pretty hot down there in Brazil as well. Uh, precip maps are um, versus average. Um, took a quick vacation here down to uh, our favorite spot, which is Ocean City, Maryland. A quick trip. Um, don't need a plane. Just jump in the car and a few hours later down uh, under palm trees. Uh, again, so my wife and daughter had a wonderful time here uh, playing in the sand and the palm trees. And um, little do they know, though, that uh, part of the... Uh, Tour was going to be um, the Air Force Thunderbirds. Of course, Captain Kirk would love to see the Air Force Thunderbirds. It's been many, many moons since I've seen them and actually used to support some of these guys 30-some years ago. So I'm dating myself here. So I will share with you. I'll end here and um, share a few minutes of the um, pretty long show that they put on here on the beach. So again, it was a pretty neat show. And um, with that, folks, we hope you have a, a great week. And uh, we'll be back here a little earlier next week. Have a great week.